received the award. <clears throat> if only they knew I was drunk when I wrote it. <laughs> and even if you are. <laughs> I was still new to things, my eyes grew wide at the sight of summer, always marching like a cavalry of men dressed in warm, sky-colored cloaks. The ground reached up as if to pull me into its hands and hold me fast, like a dandelion. My yellow face glanced up from the slight green stem of youth. I was easily crushed under hoof. The huffing muzzle of my father's gelding sniffed in the hot afternoon. My father, the old horseman, stood astride produced the masterful brush, ran stiff bristles across the heaving sides with soft, even strokes, as if the nostril-flared beast was a child. The quarter horse spied me with a large brown eye, bloating at the tender way in which my father spoke, or led him around by his lead rope. My father would shake me and bark to fetch the water pails. Heaving the grain, mucking the stall, spreading his bed on the ground every day, I nearly smiled the day he dropped his snout and took his final breath on the roadside. The payload scooped him up from the ground, carrying him off to an unsung grave. No more grain, no more haystacks, no longer indentured, no longer his slave, no longer the terrified neigh on thunderstorm nights. The first time we didn't need to check his feed, my father filled his shirt pocket with tears, as though it were me who had died. And so, the years have galloped by to this. To the day I dropped him off at the ferry for Bridgeport, I watched him grow small in my rear view, his rucksack slung over a weak shoulder. I saw his younger self trail behind, walking the quarter horse by his lead rope. Down a long stretch of dock, my father never turned back. Like that day his horse dropped, he never turned back to see his own self lying on the ground. I drove from the pier with that image burned in my mind, never so near to him. Never before, my whole life, so close to knowing why.